Hi, today I'm going to show you some instructions on how to print non-symposium sized posters on the Z6800 poster printer, which is the larger one we have. So today I'm going to print an equipment card, for example, and I will be opening up in Photoshop and doing a few things with it, so I'll just open up the PDF file right now. And for this print, I'll probably have to resize it or at least check the image size. So I'm going to open it up in PowerPoint first. And to do that, I'll have to save it on, on our desktop, specifically on our desktop just for convenience. Okay, now I'll just drag it here, and I can check the image size here first before I actually open the file. I see that's 3x3, three three. I want it 5x5, five five, so I'll change that and then open it up. I can also check the image size here too and change it here. Okay, now what I want to do is actually save that again on my computer on my desktop as a Photoshop PDF file. This is part of tiling it. This would be the first step. Okay, so the next thing I would have to do is open up a new Photoshop file and I'll be tiling it onto there um, as a blank file. So I'll just show you right now what that means. I'll have to make a custom one. It's five by five, so at, at a min minimum it has to be 10 by 10, but I'm gonna go with 13 by 13 just for some extra space. Okay, we have a blank sheet here. Now we can just drag that PDF file we originally saved onto the desktop and drag it here to our Photoshop blank page. And so now I'll have to switch back to the background layer and then go back and do the same process. Now that I've done that, go back to the background and then bring another one, just drag it along to the PDF, to the Photoshop file. And I'll just resize everything and work it out so that it's centered and everything. And now I'm ready to print. And that's what we'll actually print if we print it now. So we'll have to change some print, print settings so um, it will actually print the full screen. So we want to check that our size is here and it's not so we have to make a custom one. 13 by 13 isn't a very common size. So it will autom out automatically be set to inches but you should always check if it's either millimeters or inches. And I'll call it custom 14 and create it I'll choose custom 14 again. And right now, I'm going down and looking at a checklist of things I would actually need to do in the settings here um, before I print it. And first few things I want to do is look at my orientation, my paper source, my margin layout, and my print quality. So orientation, right now, I would have to check is oversized. Print quality, I have to check is best. Margin layout, 
has to be oversized. Orientation can be uh, landscape here, paper source can be roll. So now we can go back and check that. Yeah, now it fits and everything. So now we can print it. Um, and if you need a rundown of everything you need to check, there's a framed checklist for printer settings that you can actually look at that's framed at the printing station. But right now, that'll basically be it. And you can go back, print it, and then that's the end of the process. And in a few seconds, I'll be showing you what the end results look like. Okay.